We're back for our tutorial on lean screen. To do your first new client or patient, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click add new client. And on the screen, it's very, very, very important you choose male versus female. If your staff messes this up, it will affect the body composition, okay? It's gender specific, so please do not make a mistake here. We're gonna go ahead and say male. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put in their name and I'm going to put in Tim Smith. Here's one of the keys. This height must, must, must be accurate. If you're off with the height and you calibrate to the wrong height, it will affect the results. So don't take a person's word on it. I would say that it's best to check their height because guys and women think they're much taller than they really are. So I'm going to go ahead and say this person is five foot nine and then the date of birth you must 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 have this in there for certain um, ranges so I'm gonna put in that they were born in in July 1972 and then if you want to put their email address in you can if you want to put in a specific password for encryption you can I'll just go ahead and put an email here Okay, and then what, all we have to do is we hit save or start lean screen. I'm going to just hit start lean screen right here. Now, in this next step, we must, must, must put in their body weight. I'm going to put in 175 pounds. If we click to take the photograph, um, we got two methods. We can either import from the photo library or we can take, take a snapshot. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. Watch what happens. I can do a heads up display if we're going to take a picture of somebody. Now, I don't have a, a patient or a subject in front of me. If I did, I could take a picture and make sure that the device is not turned relative to the, to the patient, that when I snap the picture, that that is as aligned as possible for repeatability. Since I don't have that, we're going to pull in something from a camera roll. So I'm going to hit photo library. It's going to open up the photo library. I'm going to look, I have a folder that I created. And I'm going to choose this gentleman here. And we got two methods. We can pan the zoom, but the easiest thing to do is to just grab this handle and I want you to get to the toes and then this to their actual top of their head. This person has a hat, so you want to go to right to their hat, to the top of their head, I should say. We'll do the same thing. We're going to pull in from the camera roll here. So I'm going to go into this folder. We're going to do a side view and come down to the foot and then right here. Okay, this is very, very important. Um, of course, you can do a pan and zoom if you've used our other apps, you can do that as well too. But this is a, one way that's very accurate. Now, I've just told, part of our patent is this, I've already told the computer program the height, so we're using that as a built-in control. And we're gonna hit save. And at this point in time, if the date that you did this was on another date exam, we could go ahead and change the date. But we'll, yeah, we'll just say this, this was done yesterday. So I'll go ahead and hit save. Now what we do is we hit next. And I chose to put in the green, I mean, excuse me, the, the grid markers on this person. We gotta follow where these points are. So I'm just gonna come into the neck. And then I'm gonna come into the neck on this side. And then this person's in, in a shirt. Ideally they would have their shirt off. We wanna do halfway between the end of the sternum and the belly button at the most narrow portion. That's important. So I'm going to come in here, come in here, and you can drag the point in a little bit more if we need to. Okay. And the same thing where their belly button would be. Now, I know somebody, some of you that are astute are wondering why we have two measurements since this is based on the Department of Defense. And the reason is because Routinely, if you have to rely on your staff to do this, they're going to make a mistake on the man versus the woman markers. It's good, inevitable. So I'd rather just get them routinely doing the same measurements. And then the computer program is going to choose the right measurements. Plus it will tell the dimensions. So we're going to come into the hip. This is real important for hip to waist ratio. You can see the, the uh, pockets flared out there a little bit, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to come in there. We're going to hit next and then hit the neck and you want to do this a little bit on a slant and you want to move their their arm out of the way so you can see here 
the arm should be down just a little bit. So eyeball your person, tell them to move their arm up and down to make sure you can see these points. Again, at the most narrow portion, where their sternum, halfway between their sternum and, and their belly button, approximately there, and then where their belly button would be, and I'm accounting for just the, the clothing there. And then for the hip to waist ratio, right about there. And then we hit next. And if we look at next, you can see that person, which is me, I'm at 17% body fat. I've had this tested with several different methods, and right now I'm between 16 and 17% body fat. So I'm real excited that our tool is just as accurate as very, very expensive means. And I just, same thing with water displacement as well. It's not meant to replace them, it's meant to augment those. So you can see we have these, and I can go ahead and, and look at the picture, okay? But here's the cool part. If I wanna email this, not a problem. I hit generate PDF. It's gonna generate the report. I'm gonna hit email and it's gonna open up the document. It blind carbon copies the person. And then you can see this, it talks about a little bit about body composition. And then I just hit send. And what I just sent is essentially this report. If I go ahead and generate this again and open this up. Sorry, I got some oil on my skin here. But it's in the screen wasn't registering. And I hit preview. This is what I just sent to the client, okay? Would be information about the office. It goes through this whole report, shows real photographs, and there you go. Now something to keep in mind is Lean Screen is also available through Posture Screen Mobile as an in-app purchase, or you can have it in this app as a standalone product. And in the future we will also in a relatively short amount of time, have a comparison module so you can do comparison and training of a person's posture over time. So if you have any questions about this, please feel free to reach out to us at info at postureco, that's postureco.com. Thanks.